Hey guys, so for today's video, we are doing my second Project Pan update of this year. It has been another eight weeks and I'm here for an update. I honestly didn't want to film this video, but I did finish two products completely. So like, I feel like I'm just being really hard on myself right now. And I've also just kind of been in like a weird mood with makeup. So I asked my bright besties last night, actually, I was like, should I still film a Project Pan update even if there isn't much progress? And they're all like, yes, do it. Like we want to support you. So I'm doing this update, even though I'm not not like I'm not feeling it right now so I want to get a little personal here for a second and if you want to see just the project pan update like you just don't care about me <laughs> which is fine <laughs> like I'll leave the times down down below like personally I'm the type of person that really hyper fixates on things and I've learned this over the past couple years about myself like I just focus on one thing and that's all I want to do that's all I want to talk about and then I move on to something else and in my life this is kind of like rotated between makeup fitness my relationship dog training like I just go through all these different like phases of things that I'm just super interested in and that's all I want to do and so earlier this year that focus was Project Pan like all I wanted to do was watch Project Pan videos I wanted to talk about it I wanted to go through all my makeup look at all my pans and right now my hyper fixation or the thing I'm just really focused on is like my health and fitness like my health and fitness is at its peak right now like I'm getting all my workouts in my strength is improving I'm getting my steps in I'm drinking my water I'm tracking my macros like my health is really great right now but my want to do makeup and my want to like wear makeup isn't really there right now so over the past I think it's been eight weeks since my last update I really haven't worn much makeup and I haven't really been playing with makeup and I don't like that feeling because in my mind it makes me feel like that I've kind of fallen out of love with makeup but I know that this is always just a phase for me I fall in and out of it all the time. I think part of it is too, it's just like the makeup trend right now is very natural, just very easy, clean girl makeup aesthetic. And I love that aesthetic, but because that's the trend and because that's the kind of makeup I want to wear, I don't find myself playing with eyeshadow anymore. Like honestly, the last thing I want to do right now is play with an eyeshadow palette. And I hate saying that because I've like, you know, I kind of built my career on using eyeshadow palettes, but I just have to remind myself like this is a phase, it'll come back. I still love eyeshadow deep down, but like I just want to wear makeup looks like this right now. I just want to have like perfect flawless skin. And like today I did a little fun green eyeliner to match my shirt because I was like, oh, that'd be kind of fun. Like this is as much makeup as I want to wear right now. And I think I just need to like accept that, but it's kind of hard for me to come up with video ideas when I've been so focused on eyeshadow tutorials for so long and right now eyeshadow is the last thing I want to put on my face like I'm, I'm just being straight up with you so okay so how does this relate back to project pan what is my point I haven't really been focusing on my project pan items like yes I have finished up two of the items and I'm still getting some use out of the things but I'm not like super into it like I was before and part of me was like oh I should just give up like I'm gonna quit but that's why I asked my bright besties I was like what do I do and they're like film the video like we want to support you you. So here we are. <laughs> so going off all the things I just said, like if there's any kind of video you want to see from me that's not eyeshadow related, please let me know because I'm kind of open to suggestions right now and just switching things up. And you guys know like I have been switching things up this year, but I'm just, I'm just in a weird headspace right now. And this kind of happens like every springtime when the weather gets warmer. Like I just want to focus on myself and my body and my fitness just because like it's nice outside, right? Like I want to tan, I want to look good. So <sighs> that's where my brain's at right now. But let me give you my project pan update. <laughs> okay, let's start on a high note here. I completely finished my Sigma under eye color correcting duo. I've talked about this in a few videos now. So if you've watched my other videos, you already know this, but I finished this like very quickly after my last update and I'm so dang happy. I did open a brand new one and like, it's just so pretty to look at a brand new one, right? But I decided not to put this new one in my current project just because I know that this is an item I'm going to grab for mostly every time I do my makeup or if I'm just wearing like a natural no makeup look. So here's my empty one here's my new one and I'm happy with that like I hit my goal so I think that's something I should be proud of you know I know in my last update I talked a lot about my Urban Decay Hydromaniac and my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation I still have not finished either of them and this is like the update that I'm kind of disappointed in and I was really hoping that I would have finished one of these by now but honestly I have two new foundations in my collection so I've been trying out the new Too Faced Born This Way Healthy Glow and then the new Say one and I really like both of these I'm wearing this one today on my face 
but it's like you know when you get something new and exciting like this is what I want to put on my face not something that's like I've had for years and years so I think what I might need to do is like low-key like hide these from myself for like a week or two and just like make myself use this one or this one because I'm so dang close like there's a little bit of windowing happening at the bottom here and it like it feels like nothing it's so dang close and then same with this NARS one too again when I look at the bottom of the bottle I can see the bottom I can see that there's like you know only a little bit of product left so I'm so dang close so I really hope by next update at least one of these will be finished this dang Kosas eyebrow pencil I swear I use this almost every single time I do my makeup but I have been trying out two other new brow pencils I'll talk about those in a second too but like I was using this as like my main eyebrow pencil and the progress is so tiny and I'm just like look at my tiny paper it's just like not even it's like a centimeter of use every eight weeks which is crazy to me so if you need like a long lasting eyebrow pencil like this is the one to go for and again I still like to use it but the other two I've been trying out was the lawless eyebrow pencil and then give beauty sent me a PR package and they have two eyebrow pencils that I was just kind of trying out so I tried this one by give today it has like this weird tip to it and it was kind of fun to try but it's like whenever I try something new I know I'm not using my project pan item but it's like I still want to try new makeup obviously so it's just hard to find a balance between that between getting use out of my older stuff but still enjoying the new things my house labs eyeliner though it shows quite a bit of progress like I want to say it's like almost a whole inch since my last update but I do got to say when I was going to sharpen it recently like the whole thing is like about to oh look at this I can pull it out is there only that much product left so I don't think this is a good sign that <laughs> the eyeliner is literally falling out of it um I've definitely got more use out of it I mean clearly this might have to end its life sooner than expected just because it's kind of fallen out and getting all over the place but overall I'm very happy with the size of this like this is probably the shortest eyeliner I've ever owned like it's just it's a cute little nub now you know I love it but also going off that thing how I want to wear a new makeup but also still use my old stuff is like I was using the wonder skin eyeliners for quite a bit there I love these in my tight line I have the black one just in my tight line today and like these last really nicely and this is one that I use more when I want kind of a smudgy smoky look Look, but if I want something that's really long wearing I'll grab for this so it just kind of like depends on my needs that day you know what I mean but this also brings me back to my point where it's like I want to wear more natural makeup looks now so I'm not really wearing smudgy smoky black eyeshadow and eyeliner right now so I mean I'm pretty dang close to finishing this so I should be proud of that but that's that's my struggle right now and then my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and iconic nude still loving still using the progress again is really slow on this one but I'm getting quite a bit of use out of it so I think it's just kind of like a long-lasting product I am wearing this today with a little bit of this elf lipstick and no doubt on top for a cute little nude lip combo like I'm wearing this lip liner all the time it's just taking forever to get through and then for my NARS soft matte concealers I didn't really have like an end goal for this I think my goal is just to like use it for as long as I can before it goes bad like by the end of this year I would definitely throw these out if I still have product left just because I think I've had these for two or three years now and they're like they're, they're a little gross inside but I'm very happy with the size of progress and the holes on these like they just get bigger and bigger each day I'm now just like using the product on the side so that's exciting and I do use one of these at least every single time I do my makeup now in the spring summer I'm gonna be more self tan so I'll probably use my tan shade more but this one's good like under the eyes for just like a little bit of coverage so I still like these I still love using it and I'm still trying to decide like once I want to get rid of these like would I repurchase the same concealer because I do really love it but if you guys have a potted concealer like this it's just like a good full coverage concealer let me know what else ones you like I know like Glossier has one in a pot but I think it's a like a dewy finish and I don't want a dewy finish so Honestly, I might just repurchase these towards the end of the year. Another product I did finish though, and I hit my goal on for my project pan was my Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is all I have left of it because a bug crawled into the other end, but I only had like two or three uses left of the product. If you wanna see that whole story where I talk about this whole bug in my primer thing, I'll link it down below because that was in my empties video where I talked about it. But I like this primer, I'm super glad I finished it, and I did replace it with something. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last update, but I did replace it with the Smash box photo finish primerizer 
apparently they don't make this one anymore. They like redid their primers again and they don't have like a primerizer, but they have another really hydrating one. Anyways, this one's pretty similar to the Hangover one in my opinion. This one was just kind of like thicker. This one's definitely more lightweight and I used it today. I usually need about like two or three pumps. So I feel like I could go through this pretty quick. I did mark it when I first started using this in my project pan. So I haven't had much progress, but there's a tiny bit. And I'm not really sure what my goal is for this product. I don't think it's gonna be finish it completely because I still want to like rotate through my other products. I think what I'm gonna do is just like, pick a spot and mark it. And once I hit that, that'll be my goal. I thought I was almost done filming, but I'm literally forgetting about four products over here. How could I forget my hourglass powders? <sighs> I still have not hit pan on these. I swear this hourglass bronzer is never ending. Every single time I use this, which is almost every time I do my makeup, I like use it, put on my face, and then I like stare deeply into the pan to see if there's like a little <laughs> snippet of a pan or anything and there's not. I feel like I'm so close to hitting pan, and it's like, I've also been using this on my eyes as an eyeshadow, like I'm trying to get more use out of it. I'm like bringing it down my neck and bronzing my whole body with this. I freaking love this bronzer. I still love using it. It's actually kind of funny because there was one day where I just wanted to like grab a different bronzer and I used my older Fenty ones, the Fenty powder ones, because I feel like everyone's been talking about them recently and just kind of like rediscovering an old favorite. And I kind of realized I don't really like the Fenty bronzers. Like whenever I'd use those, I would still put this on top because this is my favorite powder bronzer. So the progress is definitely slow with this one, but it's okay because it is my favorite bronzer in my collection. And then in my Hourglass Blush Quad, I still have not hit pan yet but I think the reason is because now it's like spring and summer I want to wear more brighter blushes so like in the winter and the fall I usually grab for these two shades but now I want more brighter shades so I've been using these two shades more so or even just like swirl them all together and kind of create a little pretty blush it's still gonna be a while till I hit pan on this but again I still love using it I love hourglass powders they're just so pretty and lightweight and have a beautiful sheen to them so I'm not that upset about not hitting pan yet because I still like to use it you know and then I think I'm mentioned in my last update that I did roll in the two Rare Beauty powder highlighters that I have. These have literally been the only powder highlighters I've been using. Like, I don't even think I have another one in my drawer. Nope. Like, this is it. Oh my gosh, Angela. Oh, I just scraped a little bit. It's like cheating. Um, anyways, still love using these. I use these pretty much every single time I do my makeup as well. I'm actually using the lighter shade a lot more than I thought, the shade Enlighten. So I use Enlighten a lot in my inner corner, my brow bone highlight, and then I use Exhilarate a lot, kind of more like on my lid as like a little shimmer eyeshadow shade. And then on my cheekbones, I actually like to mix them together. So I definitely get a lot of use out of both of these shades, but I think I'm gonna hit pan on Enlighten first. Like I said, I use this for my inner corner and I always use my E33 brush for this and I have a really good size dent right in this little spot so whenever I use it I'm like dipping my brush into that little spot and just a little just a little bloop 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 beautiful I love it I did also decide to roll two new products into my project pan just because I would like to hit pan on them that's the goal pretty plain and simple one of them being the Urban Decay Stay Naked the Fix foundation powder I don't think they even sell this anymore but I have had this for years at this point. And I don't use this as an actual foundation powder. I really don't like foundation powders. I like to use this more to kind of like brighten up underneath my contour and blush, or if I really need to like set in the creases of my eyes, I'll take a brush and just like really dig into my crease to set it. Also use this to set my eyelids. And I did hit pan on my Charlotte Tilbury powder of this earlier this year in the shade number one. And I kind of use those in similar ways. And I was like, I think I could hit pan on this. So I have a pretty good dent going on. Again, I'm just trying to hit that one spot in this product every single time I use it so I think I think pan is possible it's definitely gonna happen and the other product I wanted to roll in just to hit pan on is a cream bronzer just because I feel like I have a lot of cream bronzers right now that I'm using and loving and I did hit pan on my makeup by Mario one early this year the soft sculpt skin enhancer this one's probably my favorite cream bronzer that I have but like that's a really good size pan right and I was like well let's hit pan on another cream bronzer so I am rolling in the say sun melt cream bronzer in light bronze I do have a pretty good dip happening in this product right now but like if you look at how tall the product is like it's gonna be a while till I hit pan but I think it's definitely possible especially now just going into the spring and summer like I love wearing cream products and I feel like I used to love this cream bronzer but ever since I started using other ones like the rare beauty bronzer stick the makeup revolution cream bronzer I kind of just like forgot about this one so I wanted to bring it back and hit some pan on this so we will see how long that takes oh I almost forgot about something the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb in fussy <sighs> this is another product I'm kind of disappointed in my progress 
progress. I have not been using this as much as I wanted to. I've just been kind of more into like lip oils recently. I just haven't been wearing this as much. Um, so I don't really know what to do. I kind of might do a similar thing with the Smashbox primerizer and just kind of like, you know, pick a spot on there because I don't know if I'll actually finish this completely. And I think if I set the goal of trying to finish it completely, it's going to turn into like a hate pan, even though I do really like this color. Maybe I'm just like, do I need to like fall back in love with it? I don't know. I'll put some on. Might as well get a use out of it, right? All right, so that is going to wrap up my second project pan update. I will check back in in about eight weeks or so and let you know how things are going. I freaking hope I will finish one of these foundations by then. I think that's gonna be like my main goal the next eight weeks. Finish one of these. If I do that, I'll be pretty dang happy. If you did listen to me ramble in the beginning of this video about my struggles and just my hyperfixations, thank you, I appreciate you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.